Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and we're going to take a look at how we can change a script within a different object than the one it's attached to. So linking objects and linking code. It's a cool process that can be used specifically for saving and altering things throughout the game world and throughout different scenes. So let me quickly turn the canvas off so we can get a clear view of what we are doing here. Now, I want to go onto this cube right here, and this is basically our ground. And we have that script that we uh, had attached to the scene a couple of tutorials ago, which brings up that axe and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach another script to another object. And to do that, I want to create another script. So how do we do that exactly? Well, let's go to our script folder and let's right click and create another C sharp script. And let's just call this linked code. Now the idea of linking is all done via one little word at certain points within the code and that's the word static. So I'm going to delete that and delete this and just have void update. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have public and then have the word static and then we'll have this as an integer so int and we'll just call this something simple like uh, linked number semicolon. And one thing I always like to do when dealing with static is have the same variable but without the word static. And I'll explain why in just a second. So if we type public int and then just have internal number semicolon, they are going to be the same number and we can make them the same by going to the void update method and typing internal number equals linked number semicolon and let's save that script. So let's attach that script to a game object within our scene. So I'm going to create another game object, so empty, and I'm going to just right click and rename and call this linked. And then I'm going to attach that script onto it. Now, it's worth noting at this point that we only have one variable visible. That's the reason why we have that internal variable. So having the word static makes it disappear from here. It's still there. It's still accessible. It just isn't visible here. But we still want to see what it is. So that's why I have that right there. So going back to our JV script, what we can do is if we click here, change. Now, we're going to use this script to do something else as well. And to do that, I'm going to have another method. I'm going to have void update, open close bracket. Doesn't need to be private, that's fine. Generally, I like to have things as they are. We don't need the word private for void update, it's fine as it is. And all we're going to do here is we're going to reference that script. So we're going to link to that script to change a variable within that. So we can type linked code, and you can see it's predicted it. And then the variable name, so dot, and then remember what the variable name was. It was linked number. It has to be the static one. So linked number equals, and then we'll make it equal to my integer. So my integer, semicolon, and save. So now if we head back to Unity, not a lot is going to happen as we see it. However, when we press play, this linked code script should change its number to six. So let's check that out. There we go. So we've just linked one code from one object to another piece of code on another object. And it all works real time. So if we go to our game object right here, if we change the integer to, let's say, 74, and then go back to our link script, you'll see it's linked already. It links it every frame. That's what update is for. It will update every frame to make sure that link is right there. And this kind of thing can be so useful in game development. It may not be useful in minor game development, but when you create a massive game, creating those static variables to link different things is absolutely necessary. And we can see here, this is amazing how it can work. It's it, it literally instant. 
And just to prove a point, let's put it as zero linked back to zero. So guys, that is how you can link code with game objects using the word static. It's a little word, but it's so important. So I hope that's helped a little bit, gives you some ideas on what you can do within your code. And if you want to know any more, please leave a comment below. Don't forget, hit subscribe, click the bell icon as well. Stay up to date with all the content I've got on the channel, guys. And I will see you around.